Hi guys, uh, my name is Kerem Ali and I'm from Turkey. I'm studying in Süleymaniye University. Hi guys, my name is Ufka and I'm from Turkey and I'm studying at, at Ezo with Kerem. So uh, today we would like to talk about uh, our topic, which is uh, body language and uh, gestures. So why did we choose this topic? Good question. So as you know, in Süleymaniye University there is so many international students like Turkey from Uzbekistan Tajikistan India Chinese and the Russian Federation yeah so uh, as you know like we count the international how can I say students so <clears throat> there's so many cultural differences between these international students so that's why we uh, would like to explain our poster done <clears throat> so to learn a new language is not just learning the words and grammar of that language. It is to learn that country's culture. That's why our critical incidence, incidence is gestures in different culture. Uh, we chose this uh, incident because uh, you know that uh, gestures is not same in every culture. So, you say that gestures are universal, yeah? Mm, no, because as I said, uh, culture, the culture, uh, it, their meaning can be changed. Oh, then cultures, no, then gestures are cultural. Yeah, okay. kind of. So as you know, uh, as you see, there is some uh, photos of the, some gestures, you know, some peace, like hi, Metallica, <laughs> so many things, yeah. So. What is that thing? Okay, no <laughs> Let's go. The next uh, down, down, stay, down. Mm. So, let's count the objectives. First of all, cultural objectives. Knowledge, attitude, skills, and uh, critical cultural awareness. Mm -hmm. So, linguistic objectives. Linguistic objectives, uh, we have five skills as an aim. And there, as you know that, Reading names, speak name, grammar name, vocabulary name, and write name. Uh, if you will uh, see our book, if you are, if you will, how can I say, achieve our book, you will see these things in our book. Thank you for uh, listening us and watching us. Thank you. Thank you.